Okay, now let's talk a little bit about some of the muscles that actually propel you forward in running. Which are the muscles that drive you? These are the key muscles that we should work on that have to be developed, but they also have to be developed the way they're used in running. It's one thing to develop the muscle, but if you don't use it in your technique, that strength training is going to be of little value. So we got to strengthen the muscles as they're used in running. But first, let's take a look at which muscles are really involved. Okay, now the push-off. This is probably, we have more myths in this area than you can shake a stick at. It's really amazing. Almost everybody believes in a running community that the major muscles involved in pushing you forward are the glutes and hamstrings. They are not. But they are very important. They do propel you forward, but not in the push-off. And they, will, they propel you forward only if you have right technique, if you use pullback. Now we've talked about pullback quite a few times. Pullback is the act of bringing that leg back before the hip, foot hits the ground. That's the preparation for the leg hitting the ground. But if you don't bring the leg backward, you're not using the glutes or the hamstrings. Now, they will come into play when your foot's in support with the ground. Then they're only supporting you. They're not driving you forward. But once your hips get down in front, they don't push the hips in front. They don't push your body in front once your foot's in contact with the ground. They cannot do this. And it's very simple if somebody would stop to take a look at it. Your hip flexors are very tight. I challenge you, I shouldn't say I challenge you, it's like I'm putting you to the test here, and I don't mean to do that. But take a look, if you just stand up, bring one leg behind your body. I will guarantee you that you're going to feel an arching in your lower back. Now you may feel the glutes go under contraction, but that's only to hold the leg in position. But you can't go back, your hip flexors are too tight. So how could they push you forward if they can't do that job? So anatomically, it's impossible for them to do this. So then you might be saying, okay, well, wh which muscles are going to be involved here? Very simple, the calf muscles. It's the ankle joint extension. That's what drives you forward. And you take a look at any good runner, and you'll see that the ankle is fully flexed at the time of push-off. And if it's not, you're looking at a very slow runner. But if you're looking at a fast runner, or somebody, you know, take, take a look at any marathon runner uh, who wins the race. Don't look at the guy who comes in last. <laughs> take a look at the winners. Top 10 or 20. They all have great ankle joint flexion. And they have this poor back action I was talking about. Any sprinter, he cannot be a sprinter if he doesn't have good paw back. They're the ones that really use the butt muscles. And they use the butt muscles to bring the leg down and back to hit the ground. Once that foot makes contact with the ground, that's what pushes your body directly out in front. And that's where you get your speed. Okay, so uh, the major muscle here is the calf to propel you forward. The glutes and hamstrings to bring the leg down and back to contact with the ground. Once the ground's in contact with the ground, it pushes you forward. Now there's a third one, and that's the hip flexors. They drive the thigh forward. And the stronger you drive the thigh forward, as the ankle is plantar flexing, the more speed you're gonna have. The more force, more horizontal momentum you're developing. So this is where these muscles come into play the hip flexors, and this involves mainly the psoas. The psoas is the main one that's involved here. Rectus femoris and others could come into play, but they're kind of minor depending upon the position of the knee. Okay, so the knee drive, extremely important. The paw back, extremely important. And the ankle joint extension, extremely important. These are your three key actions. Now some of you probably say, yeah, but how about the knee joint extension? That's also involved. No. That's only to knee flexion occurs to support your body. When that leg straightens, 
is because of the body moving forward. But if you forcefully extend the leg, then you're shooting yourself up in the air, and then you have a vertical component. You're no longer running horizontally. If you want to go up and down, use that knee joint extension. Otherwise, rely on the other three major muscle groups. They are the ones that will give you the most success, but only if you have good technique. So this is why you should work on both. Develop these muscles as they are used in the running stride. And here's where I recommend my book, Explosive Running. You'll find all of the exercises that you can do to strengthen these muscles as they are used in running. That's the key to improving your speed.